Hi there and welcome to an extra video for Christmas Eve for Fishing Planet. I managed to get those remaining blue gobies from the previous video and so I'm going to have a go at catching this uh, clumsy Krampus eel. Now it is obviously at um, Sunderbagsi in Germany and one of the things you get for completing the Kobe mission, half mission if you like, is a pass for uh, Pagasy. So we don't have to pay for that, which is good. And it looks as though the trouble cost has been dropped a little bit for the holiday period as well. So that's not too bad. Um, now, I've had a look at the um, set up, uh, we look at the mission, it actually says that you have to equip the gingerbread house and the stolen with a six kilogram rod and reel max setup. So this is the one I've chosen. Uh, this goes to six kilograms as you can see and the reel to four, so that might be a bit light actually, but um, it's probably the closest one I've got. Uh, could just have a quick look and see whether there's anything closer to uh, closer to that. It is a Prima 3000. That's 5.5, five. that might be better. Let's put that in there. Okay, so that's 5.5. Five. Now the interesting thing is if you um, use a trace uh, that's bigger than, higher than six kilograms, the system doesn't complain about it. So in other words, if you change this rod for a rod that's designed to go up to nine, then it immediately unticks this tick here and says, go back and change your setup. So it recognizes that the rod and reel must be lower than six kilogram, but it doesn't actually make any difference if you change the uh, the trace or the uh, or indeed this so this can be can be anything uh, but that's 5.5 uh, which is the same as the reel anyway so we might as well stick with that but I must remember to uh, to drop the uh, the drag when we when we get there and obviously you've got to put the gingerbread uh, feeder on there and you've got to put the stollen on there I have no idea, I'm assuming this is going to be quite a big uh, creature. It would be nice to get a photo of it, and as such I did think about putting my Christmas Santa's jacket on that I got either last year or the year before. But the problem with these um, articles of clothing that you get from uh, from tournaments and uh, other such things. Is that you um, can't carry any tackle in them. So I've got about 50 tackles or 45 tackles and five lines in this. If I change my jacket over to the Santa's jacket, then all of that will go into excess storage and it's all a major, major. It takes about half an hour just to sort it all out again. So I'm not actually going to do that, but it's a bit of a shame because it would be nice to be wearing the Santa jacket. So I think we're all set to go. Uh, I'm going to be using this rod, as I say. I think that's all set up okay. And I've got a keep net. Um, which was the other thing I kept meaning to do. I was had a stringer for a, a lot of this um, competition, and most of the tournaments I do or competitions that I do um, need a keep net. So let's cut the waffle and get to Germany. Now, again, this is not a how-to video. This is an exploration video. Um, there are two spots that I would naturally fish from. One is, either, well, either one of these, um, but this is where I would normally fish from. This is the good bream spot. So you're looking out here, fishing out here towards these cranes on the horizon 
or um, in the view. And so I'm going to start there. I have no idea what I'm looking for or how big it's going to be. It's a six kilogram reel and rod, and that's what they specify. But I have a feeling it's going to be a much bigger fish than that that you have to um, play for quite a while. But I have no idea. Deliberately not look this one up online. So I'm just going to. I've got my um, drag set very low there. I'll set it one more point lower just to be on the safe side. And so it's ticked off the travel to Germany. So I don't know. I really don't know. It seems the one thing that has got easier with these missions in recent times is this part of the mission, i.e. where you've got to catch a fish with what you've got earlier. Um, that bit's got easier in as much as you used to have to find the right spot and the right time of day and wait a long time and then you get a lot of other fish. But I really don't know what this is going to be like, so we could be here for some some time. Well, that's something for a start. Now, as I say, normally I would be fishing for bream here, but of course there is um, catfish. Um, and just increasing the drag to bring this in a bit. Hoping it's not gonna run away too much because I've just realized how little line I've got. So if you're doing this, you might want to put some uh, stronger braid on um, and um, get obviously something like 150 just in case it goes. I really have no idea what um, what to expect here, guys. So as I say, this is an exploration video. Maybe I should have just put it out, um, you know, 20, 20 meters out or something. Um, yeah, this could go disastrously wrong. I'm going to use every trick in the book to try and get this in, but it could take a while. So talk amongst yourselves. Also, I've just noticed at the top there it says Stollen 1. Uh, so I'm hoping that doesn't mean we only get one go at this, because if it does, that could just be because I Probably the Stollen went to my home storage and I maybe equipped it on the line from home storage rather than putting it in my rucksack. So that's something to learn from my mistake. Uh, if you're going to have a go at this, make sure your Stollen is in the um, is in your backpack in case you have to have two goes at it. Well, we seem to be making gradual headway with this. Um, I think the next thing I've got to be careful of is it just swimming towards me at great speed and um, needing to reel in very quickly. But I would recommend, again, if you're going to have a go at this, I would suggest you put um, braid on uh, so you've got much longer length on the line just in case. And also just try fishing for it up close because it probably is, is um, everywhere. It probably doesn't need to be that far out. Um, but I'm pretty sure this has got to be the fish. Uh, there's the... Um, Catfish, um, the name just escapes me. Uh, here, the big, the big catfish that's also at Aktuba, which would certainly put up this sort of fight on much higher tackle. But the fact that we're actually pulling in something this big with this kit makes me think that this is the right, the right uh, fish. In a minute I'll put my 
you down and we'll see if we can get any sight of it. I don't think I've seen any pictures of this eel, so I don't know whether it has a Santa's hat on or anything like that. But we shall soon see. It's getting a lot closer now. It's looking vaguely eel-like in its tail pattern, although it's not making as much of a swirl as a, an eel would normally. Oh, it's definitely got an eel's tail, yeah. or anything on this because I wanted to explore it. Yeah, that's very ill looking. Yes, it has got a tiny little Santa's hat on. So maybe it's not that big actually. because that's what's been stolen. So let's just stop to have a look at that. That's 9.2 kilos, which is why it's a struggle on a six kilogram setup. 207 centimeters long, obviously, because it's an eel. 1,144 credits and 504 XP. So let's see what that gives us gives us the Santa's headlamp, a red ball for the Christmas tree. Now that's interesting because last year uh, I did the Christmas mission on this account and all of those sorts of things came directly from fish. Um, you know that you had to catch like crappies and things like that. They were actually decorated. Uh, so whether that's running in tandem, I should check my other account, my uh, my Microsoft account for that. But that's obviously to go on the tree at White Moose. This is so that we can get things from either the red or blue. I can never remember which, probably the red, I think, um, bag. Three bait coin, coins, whoopee doo, and 25,000 at least, that's something towards our costs. So those have gone in my backpack. And it's now pointing us towards the next one, so we've got to continue with the crappies. Let's have a look where we are on that score. Yes, that's two of these have gone. So I'm now up to, I'm quite close with the green um, crappies, um, only 17 of those to go, but the other two are only really halfway there or just over with the blue. So I shall endeavour to continue with those probably at Lone Star uh, with leeches because that seems to be um, the, the best way of ensuring that you just get the crappies. I can see the big problem with that will be getting only the red ones. So I may look into this ground bait uh, concept where you can just catch specific ones in specific color uh, pools, but I'm not sure about that. And then one day uh, I might get somewhere near with that. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little video and once again Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video.